All right, John Dalton, 1766 to 1844. Now, John Dalton, when I think of 1766, what do you think of? Colonial America, the French and British were at war. Uh, matter of fact, the French and the British were at war in the Americas. Seven -year war. The Seven Year War, we call it, yeah. So we have um, 1844. What do you think of when you see here of 1844? Yes. The conquest of Africa. I'm not sure I like the words conquest of Africa. Let's talk, talk about the colonialization of Africa, maybe. Yeah? Um, I think of Charles Dickens. I think of the author Charles Dickens and, and uh, the books that he wrote uh, about life in London and how he wrote uh, uh, books that kind of described uh, the poverty in London. The, the co you know, what did the Industrial Revolution cause the poverty it caused. Yeah, but let's talk about Charles, Charles, uh, John Dalton, and 1866 to 1844. He was a chemist. He was a chemist. He was from the UK, and he was a chemist and a meteorologist. What? what somebody said something about his meteorology. What did? He, what did you say, uh, Magnus? What did you say? No, what I said was um, he, he kept daily records of the weather for 57 years. He kept daily records of the weather for 57 years. I'm 57 years old. I can't even imagine what he went through. He must have been an old man when he died. Let's see, how old was he? Calculate how old he was. 44 plus what? 34? 77. 77. So he started when he was 20. 27? Yes? Pretty, pretty amazing guy. It's not a bad life. Yeah, I am. You know. <laughs> not everyone is, is from Colorado. I know it's very exciting out there. Yeah, a lot to do. Okay. Um, so, what else? He, he took Democritus's work, his ideas, and, and converted them into scientific theories using the experimental methods using experimental methods. He said chemical reaction is a rearrangement of atoms. Part of his theory is what we call the particle theory of matter, that all matter is made of atoms. This is Dalton's theory, all matter is made of atoms. All atoms from the same element are identical. All atoms from the same element are identical. What else did he say? What, is, what else is part of his, his theory? Yes, Ishmael. Um, he said the atoms of uh, different elements can physically mix together? Or he said atoms of different elements can physically mix together. And that's actually called what? What did you say that was called? That was called chemical reactions? Didn't you say that? Okay, uh, Somebody said that when the atoms from different elements can mix. And what's that called? Mix physically or chemically. Oh, combine or when it's they can mix combined. physically or chemically. You oh, I see. You said a chemical reaction is a rearrangement of atoms. He said, a chemical reaction is a rearrangement of atoms. I like that. What else did Dalton say? Some more about Dalton. Yes? Uh, chemical reactions happen when uh, atoms are separated from each other. Chemical reactions occur when atoms are separated from each other? Or joined. Or joined. Yes. What else? Atoms cannot be subdivided, created, or destroyed. I like that. Say that again, Magnus. Atoms Atoms, atoms cannot be subdivided, subdivided created, created or, destroyed. or destroyed. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Anybody else? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, atoms of one element cannot change into another element. Atoms of one element can't change into another element. Now, we know that's actually some elements can do that now, right? But when we talk about John Dalton, we're talking about... 1766 to 1844, right? So that's before we knew a lot about nuclear physics, correct? Since, since John Dalton's time, we know that atoms can mutate into, into different elements. You know, it's like for instance, uh, pl uh, plutonium will change into americium, yes? What else? Let me see a periodic table really quickly. 
What else? These are called transmutations. Bring this over here. Okay. So I know that, I know that for instance, um, polonium turns to lead. Radon turns to polonium. Radium turns to radon. Those are just some of the, some of them, you know. So that's not altogether a good part of his theory. Say that again. Atoms can't change into other atoms. Is that what you said? Yeah, so that's not altogether very true, is it? We know that atoms can do that now. It doesn't happen a lot, though, does it? It doesn't happen a lot. But basically, well, I'm going to say this. I'm going to give, I'm going to give a little away here. You ready? Let's say you have radioactive, um, radioactive hydrogen. Deuterium is radioactive. And protium, which is not radioactive. Correct? And you can form water, combining with oxygen, etc. Right? Now, protium and deuterium, non-radioactive, radioactive. Right? Now, the question is, are they identically, do they identically behave the same chemically? You would think maybe there would be a difference, right? Intuitively, you think, well, one's radioactive, one's not radioactive. Are they going to behave differently when they combine with oxygen, for instance? Are they going to create some water that's different? Heavy water. Heavy water, but is that going to be, you know, is, it, is the hydrogen going to have properties, chemical properties? Is deuterium going to have different chemical properties than protium? And the answer is no. If you have two isotopes of an element, those elements will behave the same. So that's a little consistent with Dalton, isn't it? So the radioactivity is irrelevant based on its chemical nature. It is. Yes? Chemically, non-radioactive and radioactive elements are the same. The only difference is one, some are non-radioactive and some are radioactive. What else does John Dalton say? We're almost finished with John Dalton. What else? He's from the UK, he was a meteorologist, transformed Democritus, Dalton's theories, all matter, all made of matter. What does that mean, all made of matter? All what is made of matter? What did I say? All matter all is made of atoms. Composed of all, all matter is made of atoms. All matter, all matter, Kind of like a kind of like an audio typo. Yeah, I kind of heard wrong here. All matter is made of small particles called atoms, right? And they behave like particles, right? The the particle theory of nature. What else? Anything else? Is that it? Are we done? We did a good job on, Dal on uh, Dalton, I think. Yes? Anything else? His theory quickly became the theoretical foundation in chemistry. Oh, I like that. Bring that up again. Excellent. Listen to this. This is good. This is very powerful. Go ahead, Mohammed. Dalton's theory quickly became the theoretical foundation in chemistry. So, we can thank Dalton for the underlying foundation of what we're studying here today. It's pretty cool. It's pretty serious. That's serious. That's serious stuff. So is Dalton important for us to study? Yeah, it's very important for us to study because his theories are the foundation of chemistry. Excellent.